Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. Today we're going to be discussing creating your own website and what you will need to get that website online. Now there are a number of what we call package companies out there that will do all of these things for you and I'll talk about those at the end of this video but right now I'm going to be talking about the three things that you'll need to begin your life online so the first thing you'll need is a domain name obviously you'll need a domain name it's the thing you see at the upper uh, center of the screen when you're viewing a browser it's the HTTP uh, www.google.com that is Google's URL then you'll need a hosting provider, uh, someone who will host and store all of your files, content, images, and video. This is where you know the most of the money will come into play. Next, you will need a way to build that website, or I call it a website builder, such as WordPress, and I'll discuss that here shortly. So the first thing we're going to need, obviously, is our domain name. This is the home or location of your site. This is where people will type in in their browsers to go to your site. You can get a domain name at a number of places. I recommend GoDaddy.com as well as another website called Hover.com. As you can see here, we are on GoDaddy.com, the homepage here, and it's very easy to see if your URL is available. So all you have to do is type in the URL you want to use and then make sure you have the suffix here or whatever you want it to be .com, .net, .org. You can click the down arrow there to change that. I would stick with .com. It's just easier to uh, to get people uh, to come to your site just because .com is more relevant. Anyways, once you've typed in your URL, click on the Go button there, and it will either say it's not available or it will say this, and it will say, congratulations, that URL is indeed available. So once you have your URL, you, know, you can log in, create a GoDaddy account, and purchase your URL. Once you have done that, you will need a hosting provider. A hosting provider or hosting service is going to be the place where all of your files are stored. Someone has to store all of that data that is being pulled when visitors come to your website. So there are a number of companies that are, are used to host files, but I'll show you my favorite, which is Bluehost.com, but there are a number of companies that do this as well. As you see here, we are on Bluehost.com, the homepage, uh, and it says here you have unlimited domain hosting unlimited hosting space, unlimited file transfer, unlimited email accounts. This is why I like Bluehost because you get pretty much the most bang for your buck as well as it works very well with WordPress and other website builders that just pretty much is one click and you're set up and you're ready to go. Right now they're running a special. It's only $4.95 a month to uh, get signed up with Bluehost. All of my websites are hosted with Bluehost, but again, they are many many sites that do this as well so in order to get set up all you'll need to do is go right here click on the green sign up button uh, it says sign up now enter your domain name here if you need one you can purchase one through Bluehost as well or you can enter in the one we just purchased at GoDaddy or hover.com wherever you got it okay once you type in that domain name click next follow the few steps that Bluehost has to provide you with and it, now you will have a host for your website. Once you have signed up with Bluehost and you have all of that done, you have your domain name, we now need to start building our website but we have to have a tool in order to do that. So what we want to do is we want to look at tools such as WordPress and that is the one we're going to look at. So once you have your URL, domain name set up, your hosting set up, you have to have some way or platform to build your website. Unless you're a web developer and you know how to use Dreamweaver and uh, CSS, HTML, and you know how to develop for web pages, then you will need to use a platform such as WordPress. Now, I'm going to go to the WordPress homepage. All right, guys, so here we are at the WordPress homepage. That is WordPress.org. I'll throw all of these links to everything I have spoken about in this video in the description box below. So just uh, go down there and you'll be able to navigate 
create and you'll have your website up and running in no time. So what you want to do once you're at the WordPress homepage, if you go down below here, you'll see three different steps. It'll say it is as easy as and then it'll have three different steps. So what you'll need to do is find a web host, which I've already talked about with Bluehost, download and install WordPress with our famous five minute installation. Seriously, it literally takes three to four minutes to download and install WordPress and you're up and running. And then read the documentation and then you'll be good to go with WordPress. Uh, if you do, however, choose Bluehost, they have a way once you already purchase your plan that just installs WordPress automatically and it takes literally two minutes and you are up and running and you have a website. All right, guys, let's go ahead and do an overview of what we have already talked about in this video. So first, we're going to need a domain name. Go to GoDaddy or Hover.com, purchase one for as little as five bucks, and this will be your home location for your website. Next, we're going to need a hosting service. I spoke about Bluehost, but again, there are many other companies that provide it. You need a place to store all of those files and data so that way, you have some, you know, you're not doing it yourself. You're not going to host it on your own servers. You're going to need a service that provides that. And lastly, we're going to need a way to build our website. I suggest WordPress, but again, you can choose whichever one you may find. So that is the three-step process of getting your website online. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I'll put links to other videos that may help you that I've done in the past. I'm going to make a series out of this. It's going to be all about building and creating and maintaining your own website. It is a great joy to have your own home and location on the web. I hope you guys are looking into doing that. Do not be discouraged. Do not be scared. Go ahead, put yourself out there, create a website, be willing to make mistakes. You will make some in the process. Do not worry about that. In order to achieve greatness, you will need to fail first. I promise you. Maybe not fail first, but a lot of times you will mess up. So guys, I hope you will have fun creating your own websites. If you have any questions on how to go about doing this, please, please, please do not be afraid to put those questions in the comment box below. I do my best to answer almost every question I receive, and I do receive a lot, so that is a lot to do, but I'm willing to do that because I want to see you guys go out and do what you're wanting to do. Thanks as always for watching my videos. It means a lot to me. If this video helped you, help me by clicking clicking the thumbs up button down below and liking this video. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family if you find it helpful. And I will see you guys next time.